I'm so excited to share this Goa vlog with you all. So on day one, we stopped in between on our way to Goa and had some light breakfast. We already had some food at home while leaving for Goa. So we just had some bhel and something which we got from home. This trip along with Abhijit and Rahinya, we also had my bhaiya bhabhi and their daughter Prisha. So after having our breakfast, we headed towards Kolhapur and in between we saw a lot of signboards and it was for this place Shivneri. So it was not recommended by anyone just because we saw many signboards we thought okay we'll have our lunch here. So we had this delicious Kolhapuri Tamra Pandha Rasa Thali at this place and it was awesome. We stayed at Sign Q Hotel at North Goa for a night and then next morning we had our breakfast and quickly wrapped up and moved to South Goa to our next hotel. I'll quickly show you our Sign Q Hotel room. morning it's our second day by the time we reached our hotel last night kids were cranky we were all tired and down on energy and uh, so i did not shoot anything so this is our room which i'm showing you right now and now after having our breakfast here we're going to move to our next hotel which is in south goa so i opted for ekdam indian wala breakfast some mixed vegetable and paratha You can see Prisha and Rahinya having a lot of fun in this video. Then we reached South Goa and this was our next day. It was Club Mahindra Varka Beach Resort. These people took a lot of time for check-in. So after waiting for a long period, we decided to move and first have our lunch and then go and check-in after that. So we went to a restaurant nearby. At this place, we had surmai rishado and chicken vandalu. After having our lunch, we finally got the rooms and this was our room. This resort is located at Varka Beach. So after taking some rest and wrapping up, we went to the beach. So you need to walk from the inside of the resort to go to the beach. The resort also has their own restaurant. So this is one of them. This shack was on the beach so we sat here, spent some time, the kids played with the sand and we had our dinner at this place. The next morning we went to the same shack to have our breakfast. So these are the clips from the resort. The property of the resort was amazing, lush green and beautiful. You can see how much I enjoy it.
and this is Varka Beach. So at the same shack where we had our dinner last night, we had our breakfast. And this is Rahine with his mama. Okay, so this is something which I did just to make my kid laugh. You would understand if you have a kid that what all things, crazy things you have to do to make the kids laugh. That's Prisha and Rahine enjoying with their dads. After having a lot of masti, we went to another beach. It was Mobor Beach. It's in South Goa and this is a place where we decided to have our lunch at. It was Mike's Point or Mike's Corner something. The food here was amazing. We had ordered pomfret fish and chips, calamari butter fry, prawn curry and rice. Everything was awesome. The ambience and the surroundings, food, music, amazing. And then we spent a lot of time at Mobor Beach. The kids enjoyed playing there. In fact, Rahine did not want to go back home. I mean, hotel room. And then we came back to the resort. I just took a few clips of this resort at night. It was well lit and looked beautiful. The next morning we decided to have our breakfast at a restaurant nearby. I completely forgot this restaurant's name. We all have come to Goa many times, I mean except the kids. That is the reason at this time when we had our kids with us, we did not want to go to a lot of places. Okay, so this was the breakfast menu. For breakfast, we had ordered prawn paratha, chicken paratha, aloo paratha. And cheese toast and garlic toast. Because the kids had enjoyed a lot in the pool a day before, we again decided to go to the pool. After playing a lot in the pool at the end, Rahine fell asleep and we could not control our laughter. I mean, who sleeps in the pool like, like this? To have our lunch, we went to Martin's Corner. It's a very famous place in South Goa. Many celebrities have visited this place and I would soon show you their photographs.
so these are the photographs i was talking about all these celebrities have visited this place how many celebrities can you spot from these pictures let me know in the comment section We had ordered butter fried calamari, Goan chili chicken, pomfret trichado, prawns papar, seafood white sauce pasta, and some fries. Everything was amazing, so fresh and so delicious. After enjoying the delicious meal we went to Kolwa beach. There were some shops near Kolwa beach. They were selling a lot of colorful clothes, colorful prints goa written on them. We bought some clothes for the kids. I also bought one dress for myself and a few dresses for a family. There were a lot of ice cream stalls at Kolwa B so we also decided to have ice creams before moving back to our hotel. And the next morning we checked out from the hotel to come back to Pune. Rahin ne completely enjoyed this trip. I just love this video. I love the way he's looking out of the window. I can keep watching this video over and over again. Goa is famous for its cashew nuts so we also bought some cashew nuts on our way back home This was all about a Goa trip Looking at the way Rahinne and Prisha enjoyed this trip, we'll keep coming to Goa again and again.